Hello, I'm Katie Steiner here for CBS in Minnesota. We are in my home sewing studio here and I'm going to show you how to make a face mask. I know a lot of people are looking to make their own and even if you have a sewing machine and aren't that great at sewing, this is a pretty easy pattern. You'll be able to do it with me. So what you need is you need two pieces of fabric, one that is 100% cotton, that's important, Actually, both of them are 100% cotton. This one is 100% cotton flannel. And the pattern, the CDC pattern, asks you to use high quality flannel. I'm not really sure if this is high quality flannel. I just got it at Joanne Fabrics. Um, but I figured we're gonna be using this for my family. They're probably not gonna care if they have the highest quality flannel. And I don't really wanna go out and go shopping. So a lot of this is what I just have at my house. So again, 100% flannel or 100% cotton flannel here. That's the yellow. And then the gray, that's going to be the outside. So you pin these for um, together, right sides together is what we call them. And then you make sure you have about two inches of an opening. So see just right there. So I'm going to start there and go all the way around. And it's just a simple straight stitch. So you just set it up, unpin it, and then start sewing. Okay, so now you get to the corners and you just kind of flip it around. It does not have to be perfect by any means. Here we go. So it's all sewn. So now, since you were right sides together, you just flip it. So you take it here, you're opening, remember that two inches? Well, mine was probably an inch, but that's okay. And you just bring the inside to the outside. I always like to give it a little bit less than what they call for, because then you don't have to do as much stitching on the back side, which I appreciate. Okay, so now you're just gonna, again, pull it out. So you've got now the right sides on the outside. Okay, here we are. Just like this. Oh, we gotta go in and get our last corner. So you wanna push the corners out as much as you can if you have a little tool to help you with that, that's fine. I always just use my fingers though. Not that intense. Okay, so now, oh, this corner's a little sad. We'll help poke this out. Okay, so here's your little mask, right? So remember that hole that we had? Now we have to go sew that down. Perfect. Now we'll cut our loose ends. Snip, snip. Okay, so we have our mask. Now we need to put our folds in. Last time? This is just okay, so we're gonna go up. Just like that, do you see that? That's how we're gonna do it. There you go. So just make sure the folds are going in the same direction, which ours are. Okay, now we are going to sew the folds in place by sewing all the way around our mask. So we just go right from, you just sew all on the edges of your mask. So that's what we're gonna do now. And that'll sew those pleats down, those folds. Okay, so here's your mask with your folds that aren't great, but you know, comes with time. Okay, so now a lot of people are either using elastic or bias tape. Bias tape is what you can get at the store. I don't, I have a little bit of elastic, but not a lot. So I decided to make my own bias tape and you can find a YouTube video on how to do that. So what you do is I'm gonna add straps to mine because I just think that that's gonna be better so you take your bias tape or your homemade bias tape, you open it up, you've got that there, and that's what you're going to put onto your mask, just like this, see? So we're gonna try to put it in the middle. Again, if it's not perfect, that's fine. Okay, and now we're gonna pin. Okay, so now we're gonna sew down our bias tape on the side here. 
So just put, fold it over and then I'm gonna go from the nice corner to the corner that's open. See, it's still open, so it needs to be sewn down. And that'll just work us right onto the mask. I'll show you. I'm gonna move. We've sewed our bias tape. Here's our mask. It's kind of hard to see with the light. I don't know how to make it better, but that's okay. So now we just keep sewing straight onto the mask, the bias tape that you're gonna sew onto the mask. Just keep going. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now we're coming to the folds, which remember is a little bit trickier just because you've got a lot of fabric in there. You kind of have to convince your machine to work with you a little bit. But okay. So now, done with the mask, now we're just back to the bias tapes. Now we can just kind of And of course, do your back stitch, cut your thread, and look, you have strap one done. Now we'll do the other strap, just how we did the first strap. All right, there you go. Your mask is now complete. So now you just strap it on like this. It smells really nice because I wash my fabric. That's the other thing you want to make sure you do. Wash your fabric. Not only obviously is that sanitary, but um, it causes, it'll shrink in the wash. Oh gosh. There you go. So now I'm good if I want to go to Cub Foods, want to wear a mask. Here it is. Again, we're going to post that on WCCO.com. We'll post that for you if you want to do another one.